Not a bad way to start a Sunday morning, huh? Man, being in a Lambo with that outside your window, some futuristic stuff. And we're back with another Hidden Hills Racing Vlog. And on today's episode, I go by myself. No, I'm just kidding. Going on a Lamborghini drive and I don't have a passenger. And personally, I don't like driving alone, but we're gonna make the best out of it because there's gonna be some cool, cool, classic Lamborghinis and Ferraris and I think a couple of modern supercars too, but it will be a nice drive with some really cool people. So let's see what the day has in store for us because sitting at home, you're not gonna find a great adventure. So we gotta get up and get out. Let's go, let's see, let's see. Almost there. This is where the SVJ gets stolen by what I'm assuming. Oh look, we made nothing like seeing a nice little uh, Countach down the freaking driveway. Wow. Guys, look at this. Oh my god. Is this what heaven looks like? Oh my god. Holy shit. This is insane. How are you? This is crazy. I think I'm gonna be in bed. No, get out of bed. Oh my goodness. He's got two gated LP640s. We love the gated. This is so cool. Oh wow, there's snacks. Yeah, bro. Snacks <laughs> All right, now I'm excited. This looks like this looks like my kind of pastry right here. Should you want to try starting it or you just want to push it? What's going on here? Oh, you know, just uh, just winding the cars up before <laughs> before we take them out. I love it. Oh, man. look at this barn find. Guys, in the comments below, which one are you picking? The Mercy or the Testarossa? Ferrari or Lamborghini? Let me know. Oh, another barn find. <laughs> yep. Uh, getting close, getting close over here. That's good. Straighten up, straighten up. Oh, straighten up. As long as they'll fit in there, we're good. All right, stop, 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 stop. Okay, cool. <laughs> that is uh, too close for comfort. Well, that's why the doors go up. Yes, and not out. <laughs> not bad. Some say this is the fastest car here. I mean, as a kid, being here would be insane. Like, look at this. I mean, as an adult, being here is just as insane because this is absolutely incredible. Look at this SV. Now, I know we have the SVJ, but personally, I think the SV has the nicest rear end ever. Like, the way that <clears throat> the wing goes into the diffuser, it's just, it's just so gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Wow. I don't know if everybody's favorite movie is Wolf of Wall Street, but if it is your favorite movie, here you go. A white Countach. Now, I always had a dream of owning a Countach, but being 6'4", I don't 
fit in a kunta. So unless I can somehow magically fabricate the seats to fit me, that dream might never happen. Sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. See? <laughs> Start a Sunday morning, huh? Couple of uh, Italian supercars, and the weather was a little gloomy down there. But uh, as as we go further up the mountain, it's a lot better. Ooh, look, F3, nice. Some sick cars here. I love coming out here because there's always dope cars driving around. But I don't know if anybody's gonna have us beat today because I mean, just look at this. I mean, come on, Diablo, bro. Got Mercy, Mercy, Diablo, SV, SVJ. The Ferraris in the back and the Lambos in the front. It's like two separate rallies, except for that Diablo that's pretending to be a Ferrari back there. But wow. <laughs> Man, that was absolutely exhilarating. Whipping an SVJ through a tunnel is insane. The volumes that this car produces is just something else. I, I honestly can't even fucking explain it. It's just great. Look at that. It's just a nuke after a nuke after a nuke. All right, I got to put you down. Well, we made it. What's your experience driving behind this uh, 640? Fucking, it's like Super Mario with the with the with the flower flames. Yeah, it shoots flames. Ma massive firebombs. Wow. So would you pick that over your car? They're different experiences. So would you pick that over your car? Uh, I'd say they're hand in hand. So you wouldn't pick that over. Well, your it's car. my car, so you know, it's it like being like, hey, car. do you like that other person's if it wasn't child? Your car. Lotus, Lotus. Lotus. I'm getting attacked by these flies. Right, guys, check this legendary car out. I mean, look at this. Wow. That's just gorgeous. I'm honored. I'm flattered that you think I'm wild. All right. You guys, uh, <laughs> God, that car sounds insane. It, it sounds freaking cammed. I don't know. It's insane. Holy shit. Man, this thing is amazing. Look at that. It's gated. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous F8 amazing car timeless timeless cars here we have Now the real question is, are we going to have enough gas to make it down the mountain? Because we have two bars and I'm feeling pretty confident and I could probably coast halfway down. So I think we'll be okay. But if not, we have the homies here to help push the car down the mountain. So you guys are mean. What's the best sounding car here? It's collective. It's what? collective. It's a symphony. <laughs> I mean, that LP640 that it's an, I invented. It's an orchestra. Yeah, it's an yeah it really is. It really is. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll stand and I'll, I'll go, I'll bum, take bum, the bum. Because I got one. I'd rather have the low. I'm good. All right, all right, all right. I love my LOC. I, my LOC exhaust sounds great. Yeah, I yeah, agree. It's got a low grunt. I gotta yeah. do a proper full exhaust because there's like a pitch around my 4,000 RPMs where it almost rattles. It feels like it rattles a little bit. So it doesn't have that straight through. And once you get past it, you hear what you hear. Okay. But like, but not below. Is that little pause? Yeah, there's this little transition. Because it's not tuned and it doesn't, have, it's just a cat. Dog. Why is it not tuned? <sighs> Why is it not tuned? Because I'm afraid of fire, bro. Oh, I'm afraid of fire. Okay, you a fire extinguisher. I have one in the front seat. We'll get you another one. We're gonna go examine if uh, Wisby fits inside of the GT. And the verdict? Hands-free driving, bro. Yeah, you don't fit. Shit. That's, and that's exactly how my dream began and ended. 85 red line, that's crazy. That's pretty. Did you get one? Bro, they're million dollar cars now. What? They're fucking million dollar cars. This is a million dollars. Yeah. All right, well, for a million dollars, I'm picking something else. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Now, mine, I still wouldn't pay market for what it is now, but even if you did, it's it's worth it. Like yeah. 400, 500 for that car, for the experience, naturally aspirated V12, last manual that Lambo ever made, fucking cherry tits. But not for a million. A million is like real fucking like, I just need to have that little bit for that extra lot of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throwing around as little weight as possible around these turns. That oh yeah. There's no reason to know what's behind you anyway, because you should only be focused on what's in front of you when you're driving a Lamborghini. So you don't need one. <laughs> no, it's just sugar infused. That's it. Hey, let me know how you feel in 45 minutes. <laughs> that would be. Oh, look at this guy. One. And that is a wrap on the Canyon Drive. We're going to be heading back down the mountain now and uh, find some bricky. In case you guys were wondering, we made it to the gas station. And um, we're here. It was on empty, but we made it. And then look at all these bugs that Wisby killed. Dude, look at all these bugs you killed. Oh, poor, poor kiddos. I gotta go to church, bro, repent my sins. That's crazy. I think that's a wrap for Hidden Hills Racing Vlog today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.